catch them all. Pokemon! Yeah, speaking of heavy, today in uh, TF2, I was just, I got a Tommy Slav, so I was trying to check that out. I was freaking destroying everybody today. It was amazing. Oh. I, I love oh. the Thomas Love. <laughs> I was um playing on my um regular server because I play on two servers regularly. I was playing on the um a King of the Hill Viaduct level, and um they lost connection to the item server, so I was playing with default sets. <laughs> I I didn't realize how miss how much I'd missed the soda pop until I didn't have it. <laughs> yeah. I suddenly wanted it back. Yeah, you're lucky you even got the soda pop, or I don't even have that. Oh, but today I, I also found the Warrior's Spirit melee weapon for uh, the the uh, heavy. Oh wow! Yeah, does quite a bit more damage than the regular uh, than every other one, every other melee weapon. But uh, yeah. in return, it takes away 20 HP. TM22, mm. what's that? Um, that I'm would to be try it out. Tombstoner. Nope, Solar Beam. Hey, let's teach you this needle stud. <laughs> you should oh. do that. Oh, you, you can't? I can't. Oh. How the fuck did they do it the first time? I, I, I didn't know, but... I'm fairly certain well, it could be taught. Probably through a move tutor. Does this game have <sighs> a move tutor? No, it does not. No. Wow. And I just found the secret key. That means it's my time to get the fuck out of here. Yay. Yay. Oh, peace off, ya mongrel. You have to find the button and press the button to remove the button to go through the door. Press the button that's to right. press another button so that the door is open correctly so you can get the fuck out. Yep, that sounds about right. <sighs> now I just need Repel to wear off so I can find my growl if or maybe this will be it. Nope, nope. just continuing radicates. Fuck you, radicate. See? Fuck you. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Uh, it's funny because like in my um when I do a Pokemon Let's Play I'll be Leaf Green if anything. I'm gonna have a Raticate in my main team. If I do Nice. I love Raticate. I remember I remember Silver, my last silver playthrough, I had Eradicate the whole time. I was so happy. Well I discovered how good Raticate is because I was doing a Nuzlocke run of Pokemon Crystal. Um like a Pokemon hard mode run. And if you don't yep. know, if you don't know the rules on the internet. And um I, I Got a Rattata as part of my team, and it became a Rattata, and it was amazing. I just love the Pokemon. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know. Uh, I mean, as soon as it as soon as it learns like Hyper Fang, it becomes one of those Pokemon you just fucking love forever and yes. ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Hyper Fang so, paired with Quick Attack is brilliant. Definitely brilliant. Stop doing that, you stupid game. And fuck you, Raticate. <laughs> lot of Raticate. A lot of them. I didn't teach G's Thunder because I knew he would just learn it later, and having Nido start having it would be amazing. Well, it's going to be a big help, especially like, against water Pokemon, so you cover one of you you his you disadvantages of them. Yeah, definitely. Ah, only if there was um, rain, rainy day or whatever the move's called in this game. Oh, that would be the ultimate. It'd be like rainy day followed by thunder. It'll be near the king will be unstoppable. One hundred percent hit ratio when that happens. So yep. I'm now going to be looking for a rat growlithe. So I'll cut to when I get the growlithe. There we go. Yes. And that, and that little tidbit I was saying is going to be cut out because again, private information. <laughs> yes, definitely. It's not private, but it's something I don't like. To oh, for Christ's sake! No. Oh God. WHY DO YOU HURT ME?! WHY DO YOU again. TORMENT ME, CRITICAL HITS?! <laughs> WHY?! EVERY FUCKING TIME! <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> I'm gonna have to lower the volume on that. That was, like, too much rage to even count. Yeah. I remember like, watching like, that. I had to tell my volume. Ah, yes! Here we go, Growlithe. I, I remember watching it because, like, he was like... OH MY GOD! <laughs> NINTENDO 64! <laughs> uh, that's that's, that'd be amazing if he shouted that. Oh, okay. Be very careful now. Yep. Seismic top. Ah, crap. If I do 39 damage, I don't know if it will kill it. But, uh, Ooh, Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave. Uh, paralyze it. 
Yeah, that's a good idea, good idea. Good thinking, I'm Shirby. Well, I'm a Pokemon master. I'm not really, Such but... A <laughs> Such a master. Ah, uh, now I'm burned. Great. Oh, brilliant. Such a master that you hate the idea of switching your Pokemon out in a battle. I do. Noob, I hate that tactic. You watched that video, then. <laughs> I did watch that video, and shut the fuck up. Oh. It's, a, it's a legitimate tactic, damn it! <laughs> I, I don't like the tactic, personally. I, I've played several tournaments, and in most of them, that tactic was actually banned. And we finally got Growlithe. Yeah, he's a puppy, so what are we gonna nickname this thing? I don't know, Sherb, you give it a nickname. Name it Sherb. Got it. <laughs> Yay. <sighs> I guess you could say that I'm a hot dog. But I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call <laughs> you Sherby, terrible. okay? It's gonna yeah, be Sherby. Yeah, call it Sherby. Okay. Yay. Sherby! So happy. <laughs> anyway. So happy. We're done that now. We're gonna go awesome. heal. So, we're gonna go heal, this is probably super sped at this point, and after we're done this, we're gonna go out to the sea to fight those trainers I missed. Yay. Yeah, right off of them. Yay, so happy! You luck, woohoo! Yeah. So that leaves me at 69 types of Pokemon, I believe? Uh, yeah. Lol 69. Lol 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 I'm so mature. So am I, because I totally love it. Let me just check, I believe it is. So, um, save 69 Pokemon. Yes. Waha! I'm hardly so, a part of this episode. It's gonna be the title name, probably. <laughs> lol 69. Lol 69, let's do it. Yeah, it's gonna be a title name, it has to be. Anyway, heading out to sea to fight these trainers. Oh my god. I just feel like the most it's most compelling to me that I want to yeah with the, with the sea, the surfing theme. It's so amazing. Yeah, that was stuck in my head all day a few days ago, to the point I started learning it on every instrument I could play. And I ended up doing it. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> so happy. Okay, enough, 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 Namag, okay? You've ripped off NCS like a billion times now. This one we start saying, in the battle, randomly. Hey. Oh, <laughs> I did that in uh, part 3.5 of Pokemon Green. Yes, I saw that. Yeah, 3.5. It was originally supposed to be a uh, extra cards, but I figured I might as well just upload it since you know, freaking, we're not gonna have much or, much to show anyway. So basically, just a filler episode. Just a filler. Yeah. Why not? I recorded it. I recorded the entire LP for filler. Um, well, I recorded the entire three-part LP just for filler in case you need it for the future. Yay. Uh, it's a great game. I just can't bother to upload it. Yeah, like I had the uh, Mega Man Doctor Wise Revenge LP with Blue Man. And hey, there's someone there. Is anyone? Oh, yep, I'm missing people. No, wait, am I? God damn it! I don't know if I'm missing people. <laughs> you, you got him. I know that much. Um, did you get this guy? No, I didn't. No. I didn't fight anybody. My boyfriend gave me big pearls. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, uh, yeah, not resisting the comment. <laughs> I'm not oh sorry. Big pearls. Pearls are round. That can be taken in so many different ways. With a creative yes. imagination, definitely. I do have a creative imagination. Hell, you I just see some of my dreams. Like, I, I, don't I, know if I, said, I don't know if I said this in one of my LPs, but one of my dreams that I had recently, and I, and I don't have many dreams, was probably the most fucked up, sophisticated thing ever. <laughs> like, what was it? Let's just start off with the fuck most fucked up part about it. It was a zombie apocalypse that turned into a giant monster apocalypse. Oh, oh wow. Basically, me and a bunch of friends went to the moon, we brought back a bunch of the sand, right? And for some reason, the sand was infected with a virus that makes people turn into zombies. And a bunch uh, of the uh, zombies start eating each other, they apparently mutate the giant monsters. And these um, giant monsters, after four, after five days of living, can open portals to other dimensions. Uh, um, so, as as, so yeah, after all those events happened over the course of, it felt like an hour in my mind, but apparently it was like three hours of me sleeping. And uh, after the course of that, just as I'm jumping into the portal to get to the other, other uh, dimension or whatnot, next thing you know, I hear is a dun, 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 oh, my alarm clock. And I'm like, uh, God damn it! is this world stuck with freaking alarm clocks going off? I once had this dream, when I was walking down the road with my friends from college, I looked away from them, looked back and they were all penguins. <laughs> and that is legitimate, I had that dream. Ah, uh, penguins. They were, all, they were all just suddenly penguins, it was like, what? I'm oh. a pretty penguin! I mean, I'm a girl! A pretty girl, yeah! Mm. I love waking up to my alarm, because it's like, it's a Toho song, and I just love waking up to it, it's the best thing ever. <sighs> Man, I am tired. I should sleep I'm... soon, it's like, um, uh, 1.45am. Yeah, so, yeah, most of these fights are probably gonna be super sped for whatever reason, but just to save time, if you will. Because I don't yeah. know how much, I'm, how much of the video I'm going to have to cut because of that level grinding, uh, or that growlet finding area. Why did I use yeah. fly? <sighs> but yeah, I'm basically going to get to the Seafoam Islands and find all the trainers I find along the way, and uh, yeah, basically that shit. All that jazz. Awesome. I'm so disappointed. Well, I'm disappointed in nothing but everything. Well, that makes sense. <sighs> of course it does. He voted to on here, but if you fight them, he shouldn't take the fly back, which he'll be stranded there. Pretty much. I mean, Do you realize like, what you're doing now? You're a monster. Of course, I know I'm a monster. <laughs> I have always been a monster. There is nothing more to me than being a monster. You did the mash. I'm not gonna go any further with that. <laughs> oh, you. Bing. <laughs> yeah, Blue Man, forgive me, but it's mine now. Mine now? Oh, uh, please, man. I haven't watched any videos lately. I just haven't had time to watch them. I should catch one of your time videos sometime. Yep. He hasn't posted much either. You know, it's been like him and Carissa. You know, they've been posting scarcely on different days and whatnot. Yeah. And the main reason why Pokemon Eater's Fever Screen came to my channel is because freaking, uh, they started their Resident Evil 5 blind let's play, so there would be like four let's plays in the post. Oh. And since I'm the one editing it, I would have to like be the one who uploaded it too, so. It's best for you to just do it to your channel, basically. Pretty much. Well, that makes and no sense, really. It makes no Sega. That's my saying. <laughs> I know. 
I you stole it. it. You stole this entire episode ripping people off. Pretty much. Brilliant. <sighs> Who else could I possibly rip off today? Hmm. It goes on an angle. There's Josh Jepsen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't get that one, to be honest. I've never watched one of his videos, but I'll hear Tim quoting it a lot, so... Um, I can't even yeah. show Conway one at the moment. We can make a joke about Steve, but that's from ages ago. Oh. Yeah, I've, I've, someone told me that, like, he was... I think uh, Blue Man told me that he's been make, he's made, like, a bunch of, like, Rage Get Back to the Kitchen things or what, stuff like that. I don't know. I haven't oh. actually checked out one of his Let's Plays in a while to know that, because I've been focused yeah. on other things. No better LPs, like you, well, I honestly, Blue Man. I honestly, oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly unsubscribed from him when he started Luigi's Mansion. I just... I didn't want to do anything anymore, so I just unsubscribed. Yeah, you know, people tend to lose their entertainment quality once they, like, get later on in the career because like, they somewhat exhausted, you know, what they're using. Yeah. I mean, Tim, he's still the same old thing, you know. Even from the beginning of his Earthbound Let's Play, I can definitely tell you he's improved, and he's still stayed relatively, you know, entertaining from since that first, L first LP of his. Yeah. I mean, I know I've improved a lot since my first LP. Hell, oh, definitely, I can tell you that much. Along the whole thing, I improved. I, since my first LP, I've without a doubt improved. Um, I went back and watched my first LP ever, uh, yesterday, and I was disappointed in myself, I really was. <laughs> Everyone gets better eventually, you know? Definitely. <sighs> seal, seal, seal. Oh, we're going to make a seal sound and start clapping my hands, but I can't be bothered. Seal, 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 seal. There you go. Did, you did it for me, yeah. Brilliant. Yep. Brilliant. <sighs> you say that so much, I swear to God. I do. Um, I watch the in between us, and the one without his will says brilliant a lot, and I just started doing it. <laughs> well, Pokemon battles, go away. I don't like you. I don't like you at all. Tentacool. Oh, well, he's rather cool. And that was an obvious pun. Obvious pun is obvious. He's also very tentacly. <laughs> uh, obvious statement is also me. obvious. Have <laughs> uh, uh, I fought you yet? Hey, guess what? Will my will my pearls grow bigger inside cloister? Uh, Are I'm you fucking gonna, kidding me? <laughs> what? I'm, I mean, just just I don't even I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> just don't put your pearls inside cloister. That's not a good move. <laughs> oh my god! That has got to be the worst thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Ah, my oh. god. I mean, for those of you who don't get what I'm getting at, I can explain it to you, but... but, but don't, uh, don't. I'm not going to. <laughs> if you don't get it, you don't get it. Oh, why? Just why is that even fucking necessary? <laughs> I, I honestly have no idea. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Lol pearls. Lol cloister. So what are we doing now? Um, I don't know. I guess I probably went over my time uh, or my thirty minutes of split into yeah. two parts. So let's go into the gym. Why not? Why the that. fuck not? Yo, champion making the hot-headed plane is a fire Pokemon pro. Douse his spirits with water. You better take some burn heals. No. <laughs> <laughs> Screw the system. <laughs> Screw the rules, I have systems. Wait, let me try that again. <laughs> oh. Face the trainer. Screw the rules, away. I have green hair. <laughs> Cadbees evolves into Butter 3. Nope. Sorry, bad call. Oh my god, what? I've got a what? story about that now. No, I've got a story you... about that. <sighs> okay, I announced so her story involving Caterpie and Butter 3. I w last weekend, I went to an expo uh, called J Culture, and um, there was a, a child there who was like barely one years old, and her mum put her in um, a Caterpie cosplay. Um, I saw her later in the day, she was in a Metapod cosplay, <laughs> and later on in the day, she was in Butterfree cosplay. Um, this child was evolving throughout the day. <laughs> it, it, was, it was the best thing ever. Ah, this woman is fun. I would love she to is. meet her. I, I stood and spoke to her for a little bit, and she was one of the coolest people ever. I got my photo taken with a Butterfree baby. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Um, I went to, um, I forget, uh, Fan Expo, I think. No, it's not Fan Expo, that's in Toronto. Anime Expo here in uh, Vancouver, Surrey. Or Anime Evolution, one of the two. I, I don't remember what it was called, but two, uh, yeah, last year I went to uh, Anime Evolution or whatnot, AE. And I saw this guy walk into the washroom, right? He came out as a Metapod. <laughs> like a giant Metapod costume, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> that, that's amazing. And then, like, he walked up to, like, um, a, this guy who was dressed as a tree and just sat <laughs> under it. <laughs> that is honestly the coolest thing ever. And then, and then, I was, I was, um, I was at, um, just a little, like, showcase of all the, uh, all the cosplays and whatnot, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, he comes up on stage. And next thing you know, you just start, start seeing him shaking. 
The fucking entire costume falls off, and now he's a Butter 3. I'm not even joking. That is, without a doubt, the best thing ever. I wish I saw that.